And now we're going to get into our hot topic because there's just a lot going on in our country right now. And it's only the 13th day of Jan, 14th day of January. And we are headed right into Inauguration Day and I'm just ready for it to be January 20th. Get your wave on, girls. Get your wave on. Oh, very well. Well done. Yeah. Very nice. I've but, done this before. You know, we couldn't <laughs> just have, you know, however many months before Inauguration Day of just quiet and peace. No. There had to be an attempted coup at the Capitol. Trump incited it. And now he's taking no personal responsibility for inciting it. And now the House has successfully voted to impeach him. For, for a, a second, second time. time. Okay. Now, this is the first time in history that a president has been uh, voted out. And I would just like to say for More some... Than once. It, <laughs> Huge accomplishment, Mr. Trump. You love to be first for a lot of things. And I would just like to say, great job. You know, congratulations. Like, if we knew any president was going to do it, we knew it would be It you. would be him. Okay. I rarely have an applause for him, but I'll give an applause for that one. Yeah. You thank know, you. just because he deserves it. He does. Right. Doesn't he? So, of course, now, uh, now that the House has voted, it has to go up to the Senate. Which we know that's where the problems are going to be because because that's where it was last time. Mm. Okay, which I don't know how you could still be a minion and backing this man when your life was also in danger on last Wednesday, but somehow we know there's going to be problems. Now, currently the Senate is at recess, um, and they won't. And and Mitch McConnell has already made it clear that he is back on his BS, and he will not be calling them back early. He said he plans to call them back. The earliest he plans to call them back is January 19th, which is the last, which is the day before uh, Trump would be out of office anyways. And this is what bothers me is just because literally just a week ago, he was saying, you know, I'm not going to not certify these votes because the people have spoken and all this, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, wow. Like you're speaking some kind of sense. Like yeah. I'm right there with you, Mitch. Yeah. And then what are you what are you doing? Mitch McConnell is Mitch McConnelling. Um, are you I on wish drugs, I could, sir? I wish I could say what I really want to say about him because I have a cute little nickname for him. I can't say on air. It's it's basically his name, but instead B of word yeah. McConman, right? <laughs> McConnell and McConman, yeah. whatever you want to call him, he's a hot mess. Um, and he's doing, he's, he's back at it again. And I really feel like this is his way of like, you know, like I'm trying to play fair with everyone by certifying the votes and announcing that, yes, we all agree that Biden won, but because I'm also like, um, a Trump supporter or his, you know, his best buddy, I'm going to let him, you know, actually do his full term. I feel we that. We won't be kicking him I out. That. Because he didn't he didn't want to vote on it last time. Yeah. He was the one that was like, we're not going to impeach him last time. And now he's like, we're not even going to bring it to the Senate in time for us to vote on it to matter. However, I did read that they can do post-presidential impeachment. Good. So even though he might be out of office by the time they vote on it, they will still vote on it. You know, and that makes a lot of sense because... I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, oh, just because as of this date, I am no longer president doesn't mean that whatever you did while you were in office just gets washed away. And, like, and another oh, okay. thing is that they can add that he's barred from taking any office after the fact. So, And that's really what I want to come from And this. that's what they need to do because yes. he doesn't need to run in 2024. Sir. Forget about it. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense. But I see uh, one of the arguments that I've seen about why Mitch McConnell is making it like is pushing it out is to reduce risk of further like rioting mm -hmm. and, and and everything like that you know um but i don't see that really like i mean they're already planning on they've already planned the 17th through the 20th to be a hot mess a express. whole entire like crap show so it doesn't really matter what they do at this point i mean it's already a hot mess express what mo what more <laughs> damage could be done they should just up their security yeah everywhere. and <laughs> and as of mr dump himself He's not spoken on the fact of him being like impeached or the fact that he's been impeached twice. He did put out a statement, but all the statement was really saying was that like he's he's now trying to cause to call people to not riot. This is what you should have done, sir, over a week ago. And now you're trying to ask people for peace. Like, sir, you already have had four people die at the hands of your patriots, quote unquote. 
<laughs> and now you feel like because you're being impeached again that this is an appropriate time to call for peace he's trying really late to save face and i just think that you know with as much damage as done um he should just stay the course and that part. don't try to waver now because it doesn't make any sense well honestly yeah like he should stop he should tell them not to do anything because we don't need any more violence but he stuck it out with this questionable dangerous uh, rhetoric and just the entire four years like why stop now exactly thank you none of our minds are going to be changed about you so um yesterday i read a tweet that said where do you think trump will be in a year and i said jail hopefully jail. right jail hopefully uh <laughs> <laughs> that's it i know manhattan is waiting on him and i just hope that they get him and that it sticks and that he stays in jail because I just don't think that he should be able to get away no. with about a third of the stuff that he's done. No, and I agree. He's done even more as president. Um, and I just think it's a tragedy. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be that we're going to hear about over the next couple months because like the golf PGA golf tour, they've dropped him. He Deutsche Bank, I guess, whom he's used to like lend with forever. They've decided to stop doing business with him and he's in debt to them. Three hundred million dollars. Yeah. A a apparently, you know, this is all. So just are they going to like send him to collections and have him deal with somebody else? I don't know like, how that how works. How do you say you're not doing business, but you still he still but he still money. owes. Yeah, I don't know what that like. So I'm sure it's probably like tied up in in stuff you know like it's probably tied up in property investments i don't know what that's looking like but sir you're he's not gonna have a good year another he's thing not. he tried to give bill belichick the medal of freedom and bill belichick said no this is where i stop right <laughs> it's like i love you sir so but <laughs> that bill belichick does not stand for insurrection and treason and sedition and racism even he has a line you know he's like i'm, I'm getting off stops. this bus i'm getting off this right. train yeah, i'm done here That's like, where. Nah, this next is, stop this please is, right he's like i don't want to be associated right. with that i'm right. already a known cheater right. this That's is where i, I draw the handle. line <laughs> right <laughs> So, yeah, I, th I thought that was I just thought that was hilarious. Uh, I don't know who would turn down the Medal of Freedom, but honestly, anybody that turns it down from him is good in my book. So thank you, Bill. You're back in my good graces. But it's on like a neutral line. <laughs> a right little now. bit. I still don't like, you know, the like England you're Patriots, on the neutral but... line. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Way. yeah. <laughs> You've made it like park. <laughs>